Happy Tuesday everyone! It's time for my Tuesday video tutorial. This is Robin with MyPinkStamper.com and I have a really simple project for you guys because I was trying to think of something that I could do quick, that I could have on hand, or I could use as this month's thank you card. Since it's celebration, people are kind of stocking up on what they like and so I have more thank you cards to send out to my customers and so I thought, well let me do something that is quick and simple but using a fun stamp set. So I'm using Sweet Sayings and this is a really neat stamp set. I love it. I'm using the Glimmer Paper. I'm using the Sweetheart Punch which is a necessity. I love it. Basic Black Archival Ink Pad. Um, Simply Scored. This is the scoring tool so I'm going to score it. So I'm taking a simple card showing you how you can create it with not a lot of supplies and you can do it really quickly. So I'm going to do four cards for you at the same time. When I stamp for my personal use or for my business, I'm never just making one card. So I send new uh, cards out to my new demonstrators when they join my team and I send them to customers who order over forty to fifty dollars a month from me and so I am constantly making cards and to my family and friends of course as well. Um, and so I try to think of something that I can do that's you know, fun and elegant or, you know, depends on the theme of the month, but something that's not going to take me hours to do. Although, my thank you card from December did take quite a bit of time, but it was a really beautiful card and I was happy to be able to make it. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm going to do four at once, so I'm going to show you how I mass produce. I usually do everything in sets of four, so let's say I have, um, let's say 18 for example, I need to make 18 cards for either new demonstrators or some orders that I got, I bump it up to 20. So I always do them in sets of four, and then I you hopefully will have an extra couple that I can put in my supply. So I'm going to tell you how I'm going to make these really quick. So this is just two sheets of cardstock, and it's the thick Whisper White cardstock, and I have this score, these scored, and they're cut at five and a half by eight and a half, so really you just cut it down the middle at five and a half, and it gives you two cards for each and then you simply score them at four and a quarter and you can use the simply scored to score them. I already have these ones scored so I'm not going to do that for you. Okay, so I have my four card bases all ready to go. And so how are we going to do this? I think I'm going to go ahead and do my scoring next. I have just, there's only one stamp on this whole entire project. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm back. I had actually messed up a little bit. And I think I might use the small one, the small point instead of the top, the bigger one. And this is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. This is a top layer. And I had messed up on the side and I noticed that it wasn't the right size. I'm like, oh, that's not the right size. So I'm going to score it at four. Uh, well, actually not four, at three. And then this side, I'm not sure. Actually, hold on. dang a -roo, Robin! You're doing it wrong. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to score these all. And then I'm going to score while I have this here. I'm going to go over one and then toward me one on this side. There we go. And then I'm going to do that on all four of these. I think I kind of screwed up on that part. Hold on. These aren't perfect because I can't see very well where I'm sitting. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so quickly... You know, when I'm mass producing, I usually am watching a TV show or, or listening to radio or something like that. I never have it fully quiet in my office. I like noise. We're almost done here. One, two, it's faster just to do it that way. One, two, last one, one, two, and one, and two. And then we just flip it the other way. And then make sure that we have on this side that it's at, whoops, this one will just go up to four and a quarter. So just kind of follow the tip, one, and then remember we're going away from us, one. And then on this one, one, and then toward me, one. And so it'll look like this, just really fun. Just gives it a little bit of texture, just so it's not so plain. One and one, one and one. 
Okay, almost done, guys. Hope I'm not boring you. I don't really have any stories to tell today. I used them all on my class video because that video was like, my class was close to an hour by the time I was done. So it was a pretty long video. So now I'm just kind of, you know, relaxing a little bit. And honestly, this is the longest part of the whole entire card. That's it. Oops, make sure I push that all the way to the end. Okay, that's it. That's the only time-consuming thing that you're going to be doing. Now I'm going to push this out of my way. Open up my basic black, and we'll go ahead and stamp this. I'm going to flip these over, and what you can do is you can just do one, two, three, four, so they're just right in front of you. And I have my stamp. Thanks for being you, and I have it on a C block, if that helps. And I'm going to ink it up, and I'm going to stamp just above the line, so it's kind of in the middle. Like, ooh, crud. Don't look at that one. Dang it. <laughs> Don't rock your stamps, Robin. Press down firmly. Do not rock. <laughs> Press down firmly. Okay, so you guys kind of get the the idea, right? That's being edited, just so you know. Okay, so I have two that turned out okay. And what I'm going to do on these, I'm just going to flip them over. Okay, so these ones I just flipped over because I got the the lines on them. I pushed a little too hard and I rocked a little too hard. Do not rock your stamps. Okay, perfect. Now that's all the stamping we're doing on this card. So we can start putting it together. And I'm just going to flip it over. So this is also how I mass produce them. These are the parts that I messed up. Because nobody's perfect. Even... Well, I know I'm especially not perfect, <laughs> especially when I make cards. That's why I like making projects and cards. I like making them because you're not expected to be perfect, right? Because they need to look handmade. People need to say, oh, is that store-bought? And then they notice, like, some little minor imperfection. They're like, no, she made it. And then they appreciate you more. That's the way it works. Okay, so we will now put these on our black. Thanks for being you. I have a messy table. I need to clean it off. I was just going crazy today. Not even using background paper. I was just like, oh, I'm in the moment. I'm having fun. Okay. I'm almost done. So isn't it, and sometimes it's faster to make, make four cards than it is to make one. Because if you're already doing that step anyway, just do it with more than one card. All right. And now we're going to do the same thing. I just flip over again. We're not using ribbon or anything like that. I'm just keeping them super easy. And I'm using my fast fuse. And you kind of just check it off at the end. If you've had problem with fast fuse, all you got to do is check it or you'll get all, you know, slimy and it's stringy. And we don't want that. Okay. And then we're just going to add this on here. Thanks for being you. Thanks for being you. I just think that's a really sweet saying. And that's funny because the name of the stamp set is called Sweet Sayings, but it's not spelled S-W-E-E-T. It's spelled S-U-I. Wait, S-U-I-T-E. Yes, I can spell sometimes. Okay, almost done here. Last thing, and then we only have one more step. Well, actually two because we have to get it ready first. Okay, so that's it. We're just gonna set these aside. Set up here, so we've got four all ready to go. And I'm going to take my red glimmer. Love glimmer. Love it, love it. It's like gold. And I kind of stock up on it. <laughs> I just, I don't ever want to be without glimmer paper. Okay. We're going to do four of these punches with a sweetheart punch. Okay. And then set that aside. And now, while these are already upside down, take your dimensionals. And I'm going to use two on each. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. And look at how fast this is. It's just, just as fast as if I'm making one or two cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'd be really embarrassed if you're in my room right now because I just threw all of those on the floor. I'm going to have to vacuum tomorrow. Okay, we're just going to stick that right here. 
thanks for being you. And that is my super easy card. And it is homemade and it's gorgeous and I love it. I love the pop of red just right here. And if you wanted to, you could open it up and you could use another one of these saying, thanks for being you, and then you could use my heart smiles just thinking of you. You could do that in red on this, in the center, and that kind of brings that out from the outside. You could also take one of our whisper white envelopes right here. Where is it? I think that's right, yeah. You could take these envelopes here, and you could also stamp a coordinating heart or something from another stamp set or flower or something that coordinates with that. Okay, so here are my four cards in just a few minutes. So I hope you all enjoy it and have a great Tuesday. I'll see you guys back here very soon. Bye-bye.